today we're in South London, Lewisham, you know, the beautiful parts of South London. One of the reasons I'm here is for the Lewisham Islamic Center. And the Islamic Center is a place I've been going to for a while, regularly, every Friday. Like a lot of people don't know I've been Muslim for most of my life, you get what I'm saying? And it doesn't always make its way into my content because, you know, it gets so controversial. But um, the Islamic Center is one of the few mosques where I've been to where I've felt like a lot of affinity and a lot of sense of community amongst the people. So today I'm gonna go speak to the young kids and, you know, and hopefully it's the summer right now and summer is like when everybody's mind wanders and they want to get as active as possible but for me this is an opportunity i feel like when we was young we spent a lot of that time chilling on the wall playing games not doing anything not saying those things are bad because we learn a lot but also i don't think we realize the value of the time and what we could learn so hopefully you know when they have the kids inside the masjid you know i can impart some knowledge on them i don't really talk to young people as much unless i'm in a school or at college you know but i guess um I really want to talk to them about the value of friendships and picking the right friends. And it's no different to what I talk to entrepreneurs or artists about. It's really about being able to surround yourself with people who want to elevate you. And that's really what I want to pass on to the young brothers and sisters today. And hopefully you guys can follow us inside, check out the speech, you know, and, you know, take something from it. God willing. No. The, the biggest dealer on the block. Yeah, this the this is the top dealer. merchandise on the block. You know what I'm saying? No, there's nothing that you know. There's no merchandise on the block that's more valuable than this because your kids are the most invaluable investment you can make. Good feeling when 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 parents come back when you see their kids are grown up like, ah, oh, this is the first. This is where we got to push them yeah. from. This is this is it. This is where we came and it's sentimental for a lot of parents and whatnot. You don't Pram get that. dealer don't sound right, bro. That sounds like. Pram dealer, no. Sounds, sounds like a crap dealer. No, it sounds like you're in high demand, bro. It shows that they're just supplying the demand. Yeah. You got to say it. Big up Sully all the time. And Sully does a lot for the community. He's, he's, he's really kind of embraced this community. He's enhanced us, made us feel better. He's doing a lot for the youth. Obviously, you lot know he's going to do a, a talk later on. He's always giving back and, and he's a very positive. Uh, role model, even from from the entertainment point of view, even from a dad point of view, from a brother point of view, from a society point of view, you know he's done a lot for the community in a short space of time. So, inshallah, Allah increase him and, and bless him and protect him, and, and yeah, we look forward to more, bro. Too much flattery. Nah, 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 we need more flavor. Nah, I right? appreciate yeah. that. I think it's important to have friends. Um, I think it's important to have companions. One of the biggest things I found though is that nowadays, especially with social media, you know, and I can speak to it where you have thousands of followers, millions of followers, you know, sometimes tens of millions of followers, we throw around the term friend so loosely, you know, and the term friend is something that you have to value. Because not everybody that is your friend is there for you for the right reasons, you know. And today I want to talk to that. So when you go away, hopefully we can understand the quality of friendships and why it's important to have good friends and why it's important to surround yourself with good friends. They say, if you truly want to know yourself, take a look at your five closest friends. Because we're a reflection of the people that we spend the most time with. Like it or not, like them or not. Because when I was a young basketball player, I only started to learn how to jump when all of my friends started to dunk. When I was in school, I only started messing around in class when all of my friends started to flunk. Think about it. When you got your grades, who was the first person you asked? How did you do in English, maths or art? And you always thought your grades were okay as long as you've got more A's than your mates. But when you guys go to college or uni, you never end up in the same place. That's why it's important to have friends with benefits. Because if they don't add to your life, then they subtract from it. And if they do nothing at all, that's just as bad because breaking even isn't an exact profit. Because as people, we look at our environment and we adapt to it. So if you surround yourself with bums, would you expect would be the outcome? 
And when I say the word friend, I use air quotes. Because if you look at my social media, I have 100,000 friends on Facebook, 300,000 friends on YouTube, 60,000 on Twitter. But when life gets real, all they can do is like my picture. So am I saying that it's important to have friends with benefits? Of course it is. Because if they don't add to your life, as I said, they subtract from it. But what is it, a friend with benefit? Not that friend that calls you boring because you don't want to get drunk. Not that friend that smokes and makes you the butt of the joke because they, you don't like conforming, even though they know you're an athlete and it affects your performance. A good friend should benefit you mentally, spiritually, physically, and regularly. But a good friend should also benefit someone back because both hands wash each other so they can both wash the face. And how do you become a good friend? By having morals and values that you stick to. Because as Malcolm X said, a man that stands for nothing will fall for anything. So that's why it's important to have friends that benefit each other. Because then you can all grow together. So there's a phrase that says, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. So it basically means be careful of the people who you're around. So you have your friends, but also you need to be very aware of the people who could be your enemies in your circle. A lot of great leaders in this world were betrayed by people who they were closest to. If you know um, Julius Caesar, the Roman Empire, his general betrayed him, Brutus. If you know a very famous African revolutionary from Burkina Faso, his name is Thomas Sankora. The people that turned around and betrayed him were his own generals. So it's so important to have the people in your circle that are looking out for you. I've never drank a lick of alcohol in my life. I've never tasted a, a cigarette, you know? And it's not that I didn't have friends who, do did, uh, who did any of these things, but I had friends who were able to understand and respect who I was. As I said in a, in a poem, you have to have your morals and you'll stick to it. If there's any friends who are leading you astray from your path, you can't really call them your friends. So people would drink around you. When they pass the drink around, they say, oh, you know, Suli, he doesn't drink. They respected me. You know, it's so important to create that respect and those boundaries. People would be smoking or do whatever, but they'd say, you know what, Suli, he doesn't do that. That's not his thing. And I think it's so important that when we get in a group, we start to get into this mindset where we feel like we have to conform to the group or the people that were around. We have to be like them. But you're an individual. And at the end of the day, your individuality is what makes you who you are. Assets and liabilities. This is one thing I want to teach you. 20 years from now, when you guys are successful, whatever you want to do, you're going to say, old brother called Suli came and he taught me this concept and it changed my life. Inshallah, yeah? Assets are things that you invest in that can grow or they can make you better or you can you can you can achieve more from a liability a person or thing whose presence or behavior is likely to cause embarrassment or put one at a disadvantage we often associate and understand in business but we never think about it when it comes to friendship we never think about which ones of our friends are assets and which ones are liabilities and sometimes we have so much love in our heart that we can't even let somebody go. You know what I mean? We can't let somebody go even if they are bringing us down. Poetry. It was a pleasure to meet him. We met at uh, Muslim Bilal's event. From there, we exchanged contacts. And since then, Alhamdulillah, he's spoken at the masjid after Friday. He's had Eid in the park, a presentation for us. And today, Alhamdulillah, he's come to the masjid as a presentation for youngsters. So, Alhamdulillah, I'm just part of Kushim Islamic Center, working with the community, enjoying working with youngsters. But this is the man here. This is my, this is my man. No, and this is my guy because before we met, I was coming to the mosque and I said to my wife, this guy is preaching. And she's like, you should talk to him. And I came to the front and he wasn't here. And then we ended up meeting like a few weeks later. From Allah. That was from Allah. Is, man, so. yeah, but this, is, this is the right, this is the leader, this is the inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the inspired this is my inspiration. By this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna, yeah. Thank you so much.